Hello everyone, Manithrall here. Welcome to an unfinished business video for RuneScape. Now what I mean by this is that they released uh, kind of like an, a release schedule and their plans for the rest of the year in a small scale. Not in the grand scale of everything they're doing, but in a small scale. And I thought it was big enough news to actually make a video on it and you know let you guys know because this affects all of us who play RuneScape. So they're making a lot of changes this year. Okay, first off, um, they weren't entirely thrilled with how Menophos came and how it went through. Uh, they felt like it was lacking a lot of stuff and it had its issues. Me personally, I think Metaphos was great. Um, it is still is great. It's just, uh, I see a lot of people who complain about it who are higher level. And it's just like, well, it's meant for mid-level players, hence the mid-level rewards. Um, it's mostly, you know, even scaled to the mid-levels. But they, they're... Yeah, that's my thing. Uh, you know, if you have the levels for Profundus, yeah, that's going to be your major, you know, training city and stuff like that. Uh, that's where you're primarily going to go to go. But they weren't completely thrilled with Menaphos. And due to not only how they felt like there was stuff missing or lacking from uh, Menaphos, uh, there was also the amount of time that was consumed through doing these updates for Menaphos and how much dev time it actually took away from a lot of areas. So instead of doing expansions, they actually canceled the expansions for the rest of the year, so you do not expect to see them now. Uh, they did say they will do expansion size updates every now and then, like the Elven City in the future, but it won't be uh, a continued thing throughout the year. They kind of bit off more than they could chew with it, if you will. And it, it's not that they did bad with it. I think they did fantastic. It's that they did. They tried to take on too much. If you know they're making more expansions at the same time, or however they wanted to do it. Uh, so to have one expansion here and there, one huge update, I, I think having one huge update a year like that is actually a lot more appropriate than having three huge major updates per year. As is, most game companies actually only release a full scale expansion once one to two years. So when you look at like, you know, Elder Scrolls and even Warcraft, it's every maybe one to two years tops. Now, granted, they have a lot of stuff, but they have a lot bigger teams. And when you have bigger teams, you can get more done. So, you know, Blizzard is <laughs> a lot bigger company than Jaggets is. As much as I love Jaggets, and there's no comparison and scale about the amount of staff they have. So, they want to still deliver though on some of the plans they had announced for expansions um, but also there's a bunch of stuff they announced for today now this month there is some you know projects that they do want to do and part of it is they are actually expanding their ninja team they want to double the amount of ninja member or ninja team members so all those quality of life you know updates that we all love and then also ninjas have done some pretty amazing updates that were not just quality of life too so they want to release even we'll have even more people on the ninja team doing these kind of updates and testing them and everything like that so that's going to be another thing that is coming soon uh, but as for this month goes there is the quick pair of presets the aura bag and uh, the Borrows, Shadow, Third Age, and Blood Dyes for also for the Telos we weaponry. 
So that's actually a pretty good chunk. And they have a lot of stuff even prepared uh, for August. And they do emphasize a couple times in here, the bank rework is coming. Uh, it might not be next month, but it is coming. Okay, so the polls, they said they tried polls before, they are flawed, but they do give some result. Because in the grand scale of things, yes, polls, the only way to appropriately do polls and it's still not a 100% thing, is to have people, whenever they log in, you know, have some sort of notification that's not BAM in your face, like taking up this whole part of the screen, you know. Maybe just like a little tiny thing right here in the corner, letting you know, hey, there's a poll. And then, you know, go from there. Those are usually pretty good uh, when they're in-game. Uh, but their main focus for the rest of the year is the unfinished business. So the Eternals and Titans, they are going to still be doing uh, big things. But instead of new things, like new areas, new quest lines, new everything, uh, they're going to do continuations and finish up and work on finishing stuff within RuneScape. Okay, so... They're not going to release the entire list of what they have planned, but here is 10 updates they do plan on doing this year. Bank rework, number one on the list. Now, it might not be guaranteed this is how they want to do it, but it's number one and it's mentioned a lot. So I would expect bank rework is going to be coming relatively soon. But there's going to be a bank rework. They definitely want to do that. They definitely want the mining and smithing rework to come. Uh, the clue scroll overhaul, which they kind of do need it. Uh, daily scape reductions. They want to reduce, you know, uh, different dailies within RuneScape. It, it might not mean stuff like uh, your daily tasks you know where you get a large chunk of xp and some items it's probably more for like your daily collections like if you go to uh burt for your uh buckets of sand or you go to sears to collect your flax from the field you know those kind of things where it's kind of a pain now i do have an idea of how they can actually help with that but it goes into one of my old ideas of, sorry, uh, of, uh, you know, being able to hire workers and then these workers go and do stuff for you. One of the things that I think they could do is go out and collect your daily items. But that's just me. Uh, but, yeah, there's, they want to do daily reductions. They want to do invention batch two. If you have seen any of the Dev Diaries videos for it, they want to expand upon it. They want to add to it. They want to add inventions. They want to fix different things that they think feel are broken and that we feel are broken. Uh, so they want more devices. They want machines. They want benefits beyond level 10 for augmented gear and other fixes. Uh, they also want to remove inspirations. They want to make tradable augmenters. And they want to make perks a little bit more user friendly. This way, we have an idea better of what's going on with them. So, that's actually quite a bit in itself. Um, but they want to finish up the achievement system. They want to do the Evil Dave quest because there was, I guess, I guess there was a big demand for that. Uh, they want to do a lot of graphical reworks, which includes Sears Village and the Witch's House. Uh, they want to do the combat pets. They want to do shattered world improvements to make it more rewarding and varied. And lordy, it needs it. It's a good mini game, but it is lacking in a lot of areas with it. So that is the stuff they are planning for the year. And it says they're going to be giving progress reports on these. And expect the first on the 20th of July and regularly thereafter. 
So they want to get more involved with the community and more less about just being a mass company. They, they want to be more about their players, which is something RuneScape's always been very good about, more jackets. And then there's going to be a big RuneScape survey, and it's going to be Tuesday on the 11th of this month of July. And it says it's going to be at the same time as an unfinished business live stream. And it says they will be launching the big RuneScape survey. It says this will be open online survey that lists everything we consider good for the game and previously promised, announced, or unfinished. We will then ask you to prioritize them. Is a bunch of graphical reworks more important than a construction rework? Tell us and we will... Use the results to prioritize the unfinished business stuff that you want and build a backlog of updates to work on. See, now, I think personally this is brilliant. This is perfect because there's so many things within RuneScape that is unfinished or just swept under the rug. And it's going to be good for the game in the long run because once certain things are finished, if let's say another skill comes out you know you can always add to another skill like for whatever reason let's say they release something that affects uh let's say rune crafting like maybe a new rune crafting method it gets unlocked and it's considered through like maybe another part of content maybe another quest you know, it's easier to add on to it, but it's not easy to keep adding to it and then going back and trying to fix all the holes and gaps that are there from before. So they're trying to fix these gaps, fix these holes, fix this coding, fix all this stuff, and fix unfinished work, then go on to new stuff. Which, I know for some people, it's going to suck. You're not going to be very happy. But, for the long-term value of the game, it's going to be very good. Because then things will be done. You can move on. You can move past, um, you know, you can move past the Elemental Workshop quest. You can move past trying to figure out different things for invention because invention will be completely out and then bam you know we can do all these things you know we can they don't have to worry about constantly improving uh different graphical reworks uh runescape's kind of probably always going to have a little bit of a cartoony kind of feel to it uh compared to some other games which is kind of part of its charm it's not meant to be a realist type of game it's a fantasy game so never, I don't think I'd ever really fully expect uh, Skyrim or, you know, the Elder Scrolls kind of graphics within RuneScape. They will be, you know, good graphics, but they will be RuneScape style type graphics. And games need to keep that in mind. You don't want to be the next of the same thing. You want to be your own thing. And RuneScape has been very good with that. So, without me rambling on more about my opinions on this, let me know what you guys think about this and how you feel about them taking a break from going further and further on and going back and finishing up all the gaping holes that are being just constantly expanded upon. Because... If you think about it, in the past few years, there's a lot of quest lines that have been unfinished. The Desert series, the Menifos series. Menifos was actually, if you really think about it in all fairness, uh, tying up loose ends, unfinished business. And so the Menifos one is actually pretty good. You know, it actually fit in pretty good with the theme of unfinished business. And I think, in all honesty... They need to do this for another year. I think they should be doing this next year, too. So, that's my opinion on this. I think it's a good idea. I think it's an excellent idea. But I think they need to keep finishing it. 
because there's so many things that are unfinished. I mean, yeah, the, I'm probably going to be covering a lot of this also uh, because I'm going to do a theme suggestion Saturday video. I want to tell you this right now on unfinished business within RuneScape. I'm going to make a list of all the different things that I feel is unfinished and suggest things that they could do to complete it and finish upon it. I'm going to leave out certain things like certain quests because, well, of course they're unfinished business. You know, certain quest lines. You know, of course they're unfinished. <laughs> but we all know that, so. Uh, but that'll do it because this is just more of what they're planning for the year. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later guys.